What is a discovery call and what do you need to say on a discovery call? If you're a coach or a service provider and if you want to know the best discovery call script, you need to keep on watching this video. Hey, I'm Karma Hunter. I help coaches, freelancers, and online entrepreneurs just like you get clients consistently without social media burnout so that you can scale with evergreen systems and strategies. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what a discovery call is and what you need to say during a discovery call. Make sure to stay until the end to learn the best discovery call script. What is a discovery call? A discovery call is a call that your client discovers more about you and your services so that they can decide if you're a good fit for each other. I post weekly content about online marketing, coaching, and entrepreneurship. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates on my videos. Don't forget to check out the free trainings under the description of my videos. A discovery call is not the first point of contact. Remember I said discover more about you and your services? This is because your discovery call should be at the bottom of your marketing funnel. Because your lead has been through your marketing funnel, they know some about you and they are qualified. What is qualified in this context? Qualified is that they have a need for the problem you have the solution for, and they are aware that they have this problem. Also, because they've been through your marketing funnel, they're aware that you provide a solution with a process to this problem. So they're already qualified, they are ready, and they have expectations to work with you already. During a discovery call, it is important to find out if you are really the ideal fit for each other. This is also for you to evaluate if this is the ideal client for you. As long as you're a good fit for each other, the whole point of the discovery call is for you to provide value and some strategy for them to see how you can work together. When you get on a discovery call with your client, take control and set some expectations to make them feel more comfortable. And always start by thanking them. Something like, thank you for setting up a call to explore if working together is the best fit for each other. And then make sure to celebrate them for taking this next step. You can say something like, I wanna congratulate you for starting your coaching business. Now you're ready to scale, is that correct? By asking this question, you are reminding your client why they are here on this call. Make them feel comfortable. You can say something like, on today's call, I won't be pitching you anything. So you can relax and take a deep breath. Today's purpose is for me to find out what you wanna achieve within the next six, 12 months and how I can fast track you achieving those goals without getting overwhelmed. Be transparent with them. You can say something like, along the way, I'm gonna share with you how my program has helped many clients just like you scale their business. So I'm gonna ask you to keep an open mind and get in all the information to help you decide the best for your business. This is also letting them know that there's no pressure and they are the ones that are making the decision. Here's an important point. During the introduction, get their commitment. You can say something like, at the end of this call, one way or another, you let me know if this is the right program for you. Sounds fair? Always ask for permission before you proceed. This will let your client know that they are the one in charge. You can also remind them about how long the call will be and that you're gonna ask some questions in order to give them some action steps or some pointers. Start by asking quality questions and listening only. There are four magical questions that you can ask. So let me share the four questions with you and explain why they are so important. Question number one, what made you get on a call with me today? This question is to identify what their motivation was while they booked a call with you. Question two, why now? This is one of the most powerful questions because 
it reminds your client what are the struggles that they're going through that made them get to this point where that they want to take action now. Question number three, what do you have to lose if you don't achieve this goal? This is another question to have them think about taking quick action in order to get there. And number four, what have you tried yet that hasn't worked? This will also let you know what they have already experienced and where they are within their efforts of getting the help they need and investing in their development. Answers to these four questions are gonna help your client almost have a heart to heart with you and explain to you and the deeper reason of why they're in this journey. You can always add more questions to your liking and make sure to have open-ending questions so that you can elicit more and more answers from your client. Next step is the strategy. This is to give them the strategy and show them how it will help them fast track their results. And there are three key areas. First, identify two or three areas that needs improvement or things that your client is doing wrong that is holding them back from achieving this goal. Number two, let them know what they need in order to achieve this goal. And number three, what would the outcome look like? By doing this, you're creating that gap where it shows your client, here is where you are, here's where you wanna be, and this is where I help you. So you're bridging the gap. This is the most important part because that's how your client will be able to see the transformation. They'll be able to understand how exactly this strategy is gonna help them. So here's the important part. After you elaborate on the strategy part of the call, you are now coming to the end. And as we said to them, we are not pitching them anything. That's why it's very important how you approach to the offer. Remember in the beginning, we set some expectations that they were gonna give us a answer either way. So this is the time to remind them about that. So you can say something like, you promised to give me an answer either way. From what you shared with me, this sounds like the perfect program for you. And stay silent. Don't ask a question. Stay silent and have them reply. This is a very important part of your discovery call because this is when your ideal client will realize that they truly need your services and they'll be able to sign with you. Would you like to know about how to approach if there are some objections? Let me know in the comments below and I will make another video explaining to you what you can say if they have any objections. See you next time.